Every electrical signal is represented by a voltage. Take this battery, for example. If you measured from one end to the other, it would be one and a half volts. If you measured it five minutes from now, it would still be one and a half volts, wouldn't it? Of course it would. But frequency, on the other hand, the signal is continuously changing all the time. All, uh, yes, and let me, show, let, let me show you on the whiteboard what's going on here. Actually, first I should show you what a sine wave is. If you remember from trigonometry, if you have a right triangle, of course that's a right triangle, and an angle A, and the sides are X, Y, and Z, then the sine of the angle A is equal to Y over Z, or Z equals sine Y times sine... Oh, that's not right. Let me get it right this time. Y is equal to Z sine of A. That's your basic sine formula. Now, if the angle is changing, so instead of this being just a triangle, it represents a vector from the beginning point out to the ending point, then if you have a circle that's going, and the angle is changing all the time, from here, over to here, over to here, over to here, at each instant, the value of y is changing. If you made a table, say we had a clock, and the, side, the second hand on the clock turns all the way around, 360 degrees in, how long? 60 seconds, right? That's the second hand, so it's 6 degrees per second. So if you wait 5 seconds, you'll have 30 degrees. If you wait 10 seconds, you'll have 60 degrees. And if we plot the value of y for every one of these points, you begin to see on the chart what a sine wave is. It starts out at zero if the angle is right over here. As you start around clockwise at 30 degrees, we have this value. At 60 degrees, another value. Actually, it's 8. It's 0.866, and this is 0.5. But well, you know what I'm talking about here anyway. So and at 90 degrees, it's all the way up to 1. And if you plot these things, it produces a nice sine wave. Sine. Some people use an E for sine. Some people don't. Sine, sine wave. Sine wave. And this, the frequency, that's the question you asked me, is actually how long does it take from here, how many cycles all the way back to the beginning happen in one second. Now we said that one cycle happened in 60 seconds, so that's one sixtieth of a cycle per second, which is a very, very slow signal. But uh, if you look at a thousand cycles per second, that's equal to one, actually, Cycle per second is called a hertz, after some famous guy will actually tell you about hertz, but well, let's do it another time. A thousand cycles per second is one kilohertz. One million cycles per second equals one megahertz. And that's why I said mix 91.3 on your radio dial, FM dial, is 300,000 cycles of the sine wave per second, or 93.3 megahertz. And of course, if you go to one billion, you can go on and on and on from there. But that's the, so this is a very important thing. You have a vector that's rotating, and the frequency represents the angular velocity of the vector that's representing the sine wave. And the sine wave changes, and it comes, and it Oh, they're bouncing all over the place. All the different radio stations are bouncing, bouncing everywhere. And they come and they hit this antenna, and they're all mixed in together, and we need something to figure out how to sort out all the frequencies. And that's what we're going to do with the field fox analyzer.